Hi, I'm Jo from JH Leather, and in this episode of Tool Time, we're talking all about strap cutting tools, focusing on the strap cutter and the plow gauge. Starting with the strap cutter. Now the majority of strap cutters are going to look like this one or very similar to this one with the changeable blade sitting here between the wooden arms and the ruler marked on the underside. There's also the top adjustment screw which is used to adjust the width of the cutter so you get your desired strap width. Now as a rule I will always check this with both my ruler and then by doing a test on a scrap piece of leather before cutting my actual straps. Once you have your cutter set, you are now ready to start cutting your straps. With the strap cutter, we're gonna be pulling this towards ourselves and you're gonna to wanna to put some sideways pressure on there as you go to make sure the cutter doesn't accidentally slip off the hide that you are cutting. You are also gonna to want to make sure that you don't accidentally bump the cutter on the edge of your cutting surface because the leather is gonna be hanging over the edge. It's also a good idea with your spare hand to hold the strip that you are cutting as it keeps it from getting in the way. And it's also gonna be handy because you can push the strap cutter against it whilst you're cutting your strap. Now, this strap cutter that I have here, I got from Abbey England about 13 years ago, and it has been my main strap cutter for the majority of that time. And this is the pattern that most leather craft tool shops are going to stock. Now they are pretty inexpensive at about £25 each and the blades usually come in packs and are also pretty inexpensive. For the last year or so I have actually been using this beast of a strap cutter and this one was handmade by Vintage Studio Shop on Instagram and cost about $90 excluding the shipping. I love this strap cutter as it feels nice and sturdy in the hands and it also has this groove where the leather sits when you're cutting your straps making everything a bit more secure. This cutter also features removable 9mm blades which can be easily changed when needed. The one issue that I have with this cutter is that the end of the blade does stick out a tiny bit on one side so that is something to be aware of so you don't accidentally harm yourself. So moving on to the plow gauge. Now this is a traditional saddlery tool and like the strap cutter is used for cutting straps. The main difference being that you're going to be pushing the plow gauge away from you rather than pulling towards you like with the strap cutter. The plow gauge has a bit of a learning curve and you're going to need to be able to sharpen the blade yourself when it gets dull. The knife can be easily removed from the rest of the tool to do this and you would sharpen this the same way as you would your other knives. One of the main advantages of using the plow gauge is that it is an incredibly solid tool. Cutting wider straps is much easier than with a strap cutter. And another thing to note is that most plow gauges can actually cut wider than the standard four inch or 100 millimeters that the strap cutter can. Another benefit of the plow gauge is that you use this on top of your work surface and you won't need to have your leather hanging over the edge. As I said, the plow gauge is a traditional saddlery tool and it is used to cut really thick leather that is over four millimeters thick. So if you're making items with leather that is over that thickness, like using a hide like a stirrup butt or a harness back, which are usually around the five millimeter option, then this is gonna be the better tool. As the plow gauge is a more specialist tool, they are rather pricey and range from about 255 pounds to over 400 euros, including the VAT. So either of these tools are gonna to be an excellent addition to your toolkit. For most of us, the strap cutter will be more than enough for what we need to do with it. But for those of you that are gonna be cutting a lot of straps with thick leather, then a plow gauge is worth the investment. So that is it from me. And I'd like to say a huge thank you to Izzy from IR Bridles for lending me her plow gauge for this video. Now, I hope you enjoyed watching, and if you did, please click the thumbs up button and subscribe for more videos and tutorials. And if you would like to support the channel further, there is a link to our Patreon page in the description, as well as a link to our merchandise. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.